come back from that very short title sequence. Breaking news has occurred at 8.32 a.m. this morning. Yes, a china shop in Huddersfield has been broken into and smashed. Ex excluding that obviously tragic event, we move on to the United States, where, on its east coast, Mount St. Helens has erupted. At 8.32 this morning, a magnitude 5.1 earthquake caused a side event to open up in the, in the volcano. It has been spewing lava since this morning, along with lava bombs, also known as lahars, and other effects of pyroclastic flow, including poisonous gases like sulfur. Residents nearby are being harmed. It seems that uh, seems that so far statistics show, as I'm getting in live, 200 homes have been destroyed, 185 miles of road have been affected, along with 15 miles of railway. And the mountain has so far, just from this one eruption this morning, lost 300 meters of height. The ash, according to scientists at the scene, is 90 is 60,000 meters high, and the only people left here now are scientists or people who unfortunately could not be evacuated. Let us pray for them all. Now at the scene is our unluckiest correspondent, John Macbeth. John. Why, hello, Susan. Um, do you have any idea what it's like out here? I'm at the moment in a volcano research facility on the side of Mount St. Helens and... We have made this ha this room volcano proof, and now there's lava outside the door. If we go up, we die. Well, just lovely. This is the perfect place to do a completely calm report. Well, I don't know. Ash has gone up 60,000 feet by the looks of it, and our temperature readings are off the scale. Molten, molten, this cascade of molten rock is making the crater two meters wide every day. And directly above us, right up there, is a side event. That is the cause of all of this. If that side event hadn't occurred, then we wouldn't be, then we, I wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be panicking. We would just be fine at home doing stuff. We ran out of custard creams ages ago. We really need help right now. Are you listening, Britain? Oh, well, the reason there's a side burn out there is because an earthquake of 5.1 magnitude uh, caused a side of the mountain to collapse, allowing lava to splurt up there due to the extreme pressure of the Earth's tectonic plates. Now, um, this is quite unique. Um, Mount St. Helens hasn't erupted since 1932, but it was a catastrophic eruption then. See, if if it had just erupted out the crater like normal, then there would be almost no problem. It wouldn't have gone that much further than the base of the mountain. Well, as I was saying, uh, uh, loads of millions of, well, not really millions, but many square miles of vegetation has been destroyed. Houses have been destroyed. Yes, and so far, estimates have been calculated to be at least one and a half billion pounds in costs. Well, I'm no major economist, but that is a massive blow to the US's economy. Now, um, you'll find, um, due to the effects of pyroclastic flow, there's been an extreme amount of poison gas trundling past us. Now, it seems that our, it seems that our filtering system has broken down. Goodbye, family. My money is there. Thank you, John, for that very special report. Your will has been delivered to your family, and I'm sorry for the mudslide. Now to our extremely enthusiastic sports correspondent, who seems to button on every single person's other news stories. Over to James Smith. Now, just because it's a volcano it doesn't mean you can have a good game of funny! Just get the lava bombs and get them out yeah, a bit hot, but never mind. You can just go, sure, I don't care about all the people who've died or the places that have been destroyed. Just, yeah, yeah, into the back of the net. Now, come on. Let's get up to Mount St. 
St. Helens, I don't care if it's hot. Let's just go up there, get some rocks, and then kick it at the goal. What should we make the goal of? I don't know, just go to the side bed and have a lava fountain for it. I don't care, it's gonna be fun. You with me, it's just like a game of hot potato or whatever else you play. Come on. Why, thank you, I think. Now, that's the news for today. He's, he's insane, he's dying, and I'm worried. Good night.